Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sean Baker here. Today, let's talk a little bit about intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? What are the purported benefits? Are there any risks associated? Let's dig into some of the research and answer all these questions and more. Be sure to stick around in the end and I'll give you my kind of overview of what I think about intermittent fasting. First of all, let's define what it is. So intermittent fasting is a pattern of eating where you cycle between periods of eating and not eating. Well, it you know, pretty much most diets are considered that unless perhaps you're on the uh, Nikado avocado diet where you, you're, you're eating almost continuously, it would seem. Anyway, periods of time between when you eat and when you don't eat are uh, significantly altered so that you have lo relatively long periods where you're not eating. Alternate day fasting is one form where you would eat on one day and then you would not eat on the next day. Uh, people often uh, follow this protocol, usually consume either nothing on the on the quote unquote fasting days or maybe up to 500 calories. There's a 5-2 fasting where five days a week, often the weekdays you consume your normal diet and then on the other two days, you either don't consume any food or, or very limited calories, and that's considered uh, a 5-2 fast. And then, and then there's what's called considered time-restricted eating, where you limit how frequently or how much you eat to a small period in a day. Usually, it can be anywhere from uh, you know a few hours to, to maybe eight hours, and that is something that a lot of people uh, have success with. Now, no matter what the protocol the person chooses, uh, there are potential benefits, and some people will notice pretty dramatic changes in their health. This is in part because Intermittent fasting uh, it can give the body time to digest uh, fully, to assimilate the nutrients, repair various systems, regulate hormones, including blood glucose. Positive effects can often be seen within as little as a few months in many cases. And research shows that intermittent fasting for this period of time, three months, can turn your health around in a very positive way. Some of the proven effects of intermittent fasting include uh, potentially increasing your metabolic rate. While many have claimed that intermittent fasting slows down your metabolism, there's research that shows differently that, that, that shows that intermittent fasting can actually speed up the metabolic rate. This is in part because it lowers insulin, increases growth hormone levels, uh, increases uh, adrenaline to some degree. And this means in terms of calories, you're, you're often reducing the calories because you're not continuously eating, which some people say that maybe it's the only benefit, while it also seems to speed up the amount of calories that are being uh, utilized. Now, according to this research, this leads to a natural fat loss of around three to eight percent over a period of three to 24 weeks, depending upon the study. A benefit number two, it can lower your blood blood sugar and insulin levels to help prevent uh, diabetes or those at risk for diabetes. In human studies, research has shown that implementing intermittent fasting for eight to 12 weeks can reduce blood uh, sorry blood glucose levels by as much as three to six percent. And what's more, their insulin levels often fall between 20 and 31 percent. This implies those with intermittent fat, those that are intermittent fasting may be particularly beneficial for those either with type two diabetes or at risk for uh, diabetes. Reductions in oxidative stress. Now, this is another thing that research shows that oxidative stress is one of the one of the many factors that leads to uh, chronic disease. Oxidative stress is shown to be pr predominantly caused by the production of free radicals, which can damage among other things, DNA and certain proteins in the body resulting in also inflammation. So if you want to prevent chronic diseases, you want to lower your body's exposure overall to free radicals that causes this damage. Now, intermittent fasting is one way to do that. More specifically, intermittent fasting has been shown to enhance the body's resilience to oxidative stress and can help lower inflammation. Now, it positively impacts many cellular processes when you don't eat for a long period of time, the body downright regulates certain cellular processes and upregulates others. Now, one of the major impacts of intermittent fasting is, is that of cellular repair. Research shows that during fasting periods, the body cleans out waste from the cells and repairs cellular damage to a process called autophagy. Autophagy literally means eating self. Now, autophagy cleans out the cellular waste and can restore and repair the remaining parts of your cells. Now, it can also help prevent diseases of dementia, specifically Alzheimer's disease. Intermittent fasting's positive effect on insulin and blood glucose levels uh, and as well as oxidative stress have been shown to be beneficial in the mitigation and the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Research shows that intermittent fasting can help the body produce new nerve cells, which can also improve uh, brain function. It can also increase the level of brain-derived uh, neurotrophic factor, which can also help to stave off depression. And as a result, fasting has become an emerging therapy for neurological diseases, as well as therapy for Alzheimer's disease and, and also Parkinson's disease and other chronic brain disorders. Uh, it positively can impact heart health. Uh, intermittent fasting has shown to possibly affect blood pressure, uh, triglyceride levels, uh, LDL, and other uh, inflammatory markers. So improving these markers often is associated with a decrease in cardiometabolic disease, to include heart disease, and it increases growth hormone. We've seen that the, the blood levels of, of, of serum growth hormone 
will increase during the fasting periods. Uh, research has shown that this can potentially lead to positive uh, effects on both weight loss and muscle gain. So overall, you know, there's a lot of people that will, will say that intermittent fasting uh, is only beneficial because you go into a net caloric deficit. Now, some of these uh, effects are, are beyond weight loss. And so, you know, when we say uh, weight loss is the same, whether you inter intermittent fast or you just rec restrict the calories, there are so many other additional benefits. And, and really, quite honestly, uh, if you think about, you know, how, you know, we currently eat today where we're, we're eating kind of continuously, we're grazing all day long, three meals a day plus three or four snacks. It's, you know, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. we're eating all day long. And that is clearly problematic for most people. So just a reduction in the overall time you spend eating is, is undoubtedly going to be beneficial. Now, the other thing I would like to comment is certain diets naturally allow for you to intermittent fast. And I'll talk about, you know, particularly things like low carbohydrates or meat heavy elimination diets like a carnivore diet. They set you up for a situation where you just, you just don't want to eat that much. And I think ultimately that's pretty good. If you go back to our caveman days and you think about it, you know, you're, you're, you're wandering hunting, hunting ground to hunting ground. You're probably not going to have time to stop and set up camp and eat, you know, three or four times or five times or six times a day. Like we, we often do now. So probably meal frequency was, was very infrequent would be my, my guess. Now I wasn't there and I don't have a time machine machine, but it would just make sense. You don't see, you know, cavemen with, with Tupperware containers. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the uh, notification bell and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Take care.